API Standard 1104, Module 11, Procedures for Non-Destructive Testing, NDT. Okay, 11.1, we're going to talk about radiographic test methods and just kind of go get a quick overview of radiography and um, the radiographic test methods. Okay, radiographic testing, the part to be x-rayed, in this, in this instance it would be pipe, is placed between a radiation source and a piece of film. The part is going to absorb some radiation. Thicker and more dense areas will stop more radiation. And that's what's going to show up on the film. So if we had like a tungsten inclusion, it's going to absorb more radiation so it would turn out light. But if you got a void or some slag that's less dense than the steel, it's going to show up as a dark spot because it absorbed less radiation. Um, you know, orientation of equipment and flaws can be critical on this one. So radiographic testing, you need trained operators. It's, it's a very um, training intensive NDE process. It takes a lot of, you know, know-how and then how to develop the film and whatnot. So, but anyways, it's kind of little bit of overview on radiographic testing. The advantages, it's a good internal inspection method. You know, visual inspection is not going to get inside. It's excellent for uh, geometric representations. It's got good sensitivity so you can find a decent sized flaw. Small details are visible. Disadvantages, um, the image is only a shadow that shows up on the film. Um, sometimes expensive time and labor and facilities. And then uh, the safety requirements are also a disadvantage because you got to worry about radiation bouncing around everywhere. Okay, so 11.1, radiographic test methods. Um, if you go about halfway down, it's, okay, so the we're talking about clarity contrast required by this stam standard. Images produced by other systems shall have the requirements of sef sensitivity defined clearly essential wire diameter of the proper image quality indicator IQI. The following criteria shall be used to evaluate images. An acceptable image quality that is free of fog and from processing irregularities that could mask the image and actual imperfections. The prescribed IQI and the essential wire diameter. Satisfactory identification system, an acceptable technique and setup, and compatibility with the acceptable standards. So this is just laying out for us you know, if, if we're going to use radiography, we need to hit these little milestones. You know, you need to be able to hit the, the prescribed IQI. you got to have an identification system on there that shows what you're shooting. Okay, this is weld number 247 on this pipeline, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, acceptable technique and setup. 11121 General. The details of each radiographic procedure shall be recorded. You got to have a written procedure. A copy of the record shall be furnished to the company for its records. You got to give the company a copy. You can't keep it secret. The records may be in the form of writing, a sketch, or both. As a minimum, each procedure shall include applicable details listed in 11122 and 11123. So they're going to give you a list of what needs to go in each procedure. It's also, the IQIs, these are image quality indicators. This is going to tell you, it's going to, it helps you define how clear your picture is. So there's two types of IQIs you can use. You can use an ASTM E747 or an ISO 19232-1 wire IQI. These are wire type IQIs. And you need these wires to be made of material that is radiographically similar to the material being welded. So if you were shooting stainless steel, these would have to be stainless steel. We don't do stainless steel for the most part, but you get the uh, idea here. Or if it was titanium, it would have to be similar to that. So um, the difference between these two types of IQIs is one has six wires and one has seven. The ISO is a European, and it's got seven uh, wires, and the American one, ASTM, has six parallel wires. And this is what they look like if you see them out in the field. 
Then you've got table eight, which is a, t a table which is going to tell you which kind of, um, you know, you go by your wall thickness. If you're using the ASTM, you're going to go by wall thickness. So, and then it's going to tell you which letter set you're going to need to use, A or B, A, whatever. But it's, you go by wall thickness. And then it, you, you would get that essential wire diameter for that IQI, and that's what you would place on your, your radiograph so that you could um, make sure that it was clear and had the, the requisite clarity and contrast so that you could read it so it wasn't a blurry mess. It, it, it's, it'd be like you don't want to be taking pictures of something through, you know, a, a piece of gauze or something, something that's going to really blur it, and then you get a really blurry picture. You want a really crystal clear x-ray, and these are what they use to help define if the picture is clear enough or the x-ray is clear enough, and this is the table that you would use to find it, table 8 and table 9. Production radiography. Only level 2 or level 3 radiographers shall interpret the radiographic images of production welds. Radiographers shall report to the company all defects observed in the images unless the company requires that all inspect imperfections observed be reported. The radiographer shall indicate whether the weld meets the requirements of Section 9. The company shall determine the final disposition of the weld. So this tells you... Okay, you got to be a level two or a level three. You can't have the well. I'm a CWI or I'm a visual inspector. Uh, uh, let me look at that X-ray. No, you got to be a level two or a level three radiographer to be able to interpret X-rays. And the helpers, the level one radiographers, can't help. Uh, you need to report the radiographers need to report all defects to the company observed in images. Unless, you know, there's a caveat, unless all the imperfections. But this lines out, you know, for production radiography, what you need to do. Okay, we touched base and did a quick scan over radiographic test methods.